$31.25 for these items. And I sold them for $454.75. So for those of you that are like, I'm not selling bread and butter, watch this video. Watch this video. It's worth it. It's worth it. Bread and butter is totally worth it. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, this is a bread and butter bolo video. What on earth is a bread and butter bolo video? That is where I tell you items that I sourced super cheap and I sold them on eBay for $35 or less. I'm going to tell you where I got the item, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And I sold these items on eBay. So let's get started here. I'm Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. And if you are already know about the channel and you've been here a while... Well, I appreciate you coming back. Let's get started. All right. So these were at the Goodwill bins and I pulled them out of a like it was like in a box or whatever the container was that heats them up. And I'm like, I'm just going to take the rollers. So I thought I would try it and see if I could sell replacement rollers. I don't remember why I didn't grab the whole thing, but they are Clariol flocked replacement rollers. And there were 20 of them here. And I got these uh, for $1.89 a pound. So I'm guessing these are less than a pound. So probably a buck. And I sold these for $19.50 plus tax and shipping. And those numbers I gave you at the beginning, um, the $31.25 into $454.75, that $454.75 is this number right here. It does not include tax and shipping, okay? The next item are these vintage rubber face Santa pencils. These did take a while to sell. They were damaged. They were sold as is. Um, I don't even remember, honestly. I don't remember picking them up. I have in my notes, I got them at a garage sale for a dollar, but that's how long I've had them. Sometimes I can remember like which garage sale it was, but I had these a while. I thought they were going to be like a home run, but I sat on them, but they sold for $19.50 plus shipping. The next item is this little vintage Poppleton pig plush finger puppet. I always, always, always pick up any type of puppet because they sell. This one is from uh, 1999 by Mark Teague. I don't know what any of that means, but I got it at a garage sale for 50 cents and I took a best offer of $15 plus shipping on this. This here was from the Goodwill Benz and in hindsight, I should have left the actual box behind because the box was heavy. And um, I paid more for it because I brought home the box. I ended up parting it out. And these were like the main components that people are going to lose, like the dice and the cards and the instructions. So I put these together and then I just sold all the miscellaneous blocks together because honestly, I was not going to check to see if everything was there. It wasn't in a rubber band. It, I just feel like it probably was not complete. So uh, I probably paid... I don't know, three or four bucks for this. And I ended up selling just this for $16.25 plus shipping. And I believe the bricks are still listed. This is a Starbucks, Starbucks, a Starbucks glass water bottle. And it says, you are here, San Francisco. Now we all know that some Starbucks can go for big money. This one is not a big money bolo. It's a bread and butter. I got this also at the Goodwill bins and I sold this for $16.25 plus shipping. This is a Nickelodeon Shimmer and Shine Flying Carpet. I have sold this before, so I do pick these up when I see them. This carpet actually moves. It is pretty cool. I've got a video down in my description that shows how it works. And I sold this for $19.50 plus shipping. I believe I've sold the carpet by itself, but if you have the dolls, that's definitely a bonus. So this is from Shimmer and Shine. It is a Nickelodeon cartoon. Uh, garage sale a dollar for that. So nice turn on my money there. These came from the Goodwill bins and they sold super quick. Um, you can use Google Lens to figure out what items are. Um, Google Lens is a free app. I do have a video. If you type Bolo Buddies Google Lens into the YouTube search bar, it will pull it up and I'll show you exactly how to use it. Um, super easy. 
And if you are a reseller, you need this app. Again, it's free. You just got to download it or upload it or whatever you call it. Um, so these were from the bins. They are from the ABC mouse alphabet train um, A to Z. At first when I got it, I was like, oh, no, it's like there's only 13 and that's not enough of the alphabet, but they are two sided. So I did have them all. So it, um, I sold this for $23 best offer and the buyer was all in for $32.69 on those. The next item is this Blaze and the Monster Machines Transforming Fire Truck with Lights and Sounds from 2015. I got this at a garage sale for $1. Anything Blaze and the Monster Machine I pick up. Some of those little cars can do really, really well. There's one in particular. I always forget her name. Is it Darla or Starla or something? But she's a purple truck, a monster truck. And you can get sometimes 25 to 40 bucks out of her, depending on which one you get. Um, sometimes she looks like an elephant, but definitely be on the look at that. Look out. Those are die cast. Uh, garage sale dollar. And I took a best offer of 15 plus shipping on this. This one right here is a battery cover. So sometimes when I go to the Goodwill bins, I have bad buys. We'll call them. I get them home and I test them and they do not work. This one was pretty cool. It was a 1978 Parker Brothers Merlin um, handheld game, but the game did not work when I put the batteries in it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make my money back and I'm going to do that by selling the cover, the battery cover. And you guys, it sold super quick. I mean, I thought I was going to be sitting on this thing for like 10 years. Nope. It sold fast for $5.95 plus shipping. And you're probably thinking, what a waste of time. And I'm like, to me, Somebody needs this part. Like they don't have it. They need it. And I've got it. So it took me probably a couple minutes to list it. I'm making five bucks. Where else can you go and work for two or three minutes and make five dollars? I mean, yes, would I rather be listing an item that's going to sell for 50 or 20 or 30 or even 10? Absolutely. But I wanted to make my money back and I wanted to prove to you guys that you can sell replacement parts. All right. The next item is this Build-A-Bear workshop. Uh, it's a skate shirt with red shorts. Got it at a garage sale for $1. Took a best offer of $8.50 plus shipping. This is a Briar horse and I got this at a garage sale. I think I paid up for it a little more than I probably should have. I think that somebody had custom customized this. They painted it black. I don't, definitely not original and I just put that in the title custom. I don't know, but people will buy these and they will fix them up. This one was actually signed on the bottom. So I was kind of thinking, what if it's somebody like amazing or something like that? But no, nope, it was. And I probably ran an auction the first time just to feel it out. And then I put it on buy it now with best offer and it took a while to sell. I ended up selling it for a best offer of $17.10 plus shipping. So not one of my better buys. These right here are the Lancaster stamped quilt blocks. And you will see these again in my big money bolo video. The same person bought them, but I listed them a different way to make it a big money bolo. So check out that video for information, more information on that. I'll save that little tip for you guys over there. But these right here sold for $31 plus shipping. It's a lot of two. These are vintage, harder to find. Um, it's a certain pattern and it's probably discontinued and people look for these things. She also bought this one, which is the same pattern. And I ended up taking $10 and I gave her free shipping and I went ahead and shipped these together. So uh, I did give her a discount on that. This here is another one where you guys are like, this woman is nuts. Uh, Playmobil replacement handle for the gray folding take along house. The house was damaged and I was like, I'm going to make some money on this. So I sold this handle for $7 plus shipping. This here I got at a thrift store and you guys, I honestly don't think it's supposed to be pink. Um, see the tags pink? I said, item got washed with something red, so it looks pink. Sold as is, as seen. But I was like, you know, somebody might want it to be pink. But then I look at the white right here, and it's not white. It's still white. So I'm like, is it supposed to be pink, or is it not? But look at the tag, and look at the white on the back. It's really, really confusing, right? Because part of it's still white. So I really don't know. 
But anyway, maybe this white was a different material. Who knows? But it sold. It ended up selling. I paid a dollar for it at a thrift store, sold it for $9.30 plus shipping. And that was another one that I was like, this thing is going to sit in my store forever. And it's from 1986. This here is a vintage country stitching cross stitch kit sampler. It's the Serenity Prayer and it's sealed. I got this at an estate clean out. So less than a dollar in this probably. Sold it for a best offer of $21 plus shipping. This here is the Toy Story Talking Light Up Stuffed Alien Doll from Thinkway Toys. I do have a video down in the description that shows how that item works. And I got this at a thrift store for $1, sold it for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. Now, when I opened it up, the battery compartment had some corrosion. So I always include that information. A lot of times I'll include a photo as well. Let me see if I did here. Yeah, I did. So you can just kind of see where it's not perfect right over here. So just include that info. Your items will still sell, but be completely honest with your buyer. Let them know that there's a condition issue. The next item is this vintage Lottie doll, baby summer set paper doll, but it's not really paper. It's like a cloth and you put it on this doll. Um, it's got hook and loop right there. Uh, if you don't know and you're a beginner, a new seller, do not ever use the word Velcro in your title or in your description because your item will get pulled down for a Vero, okay? Use the word hook and loop. Just get in that habit. I got this at a garage, garage sale for $1 and I sold this for $15 plus shipping. This next item is a vintage gun, gunned Igor green huggable monster. It's just a little guy from 1992. Got it for a quarter, sold it for a best offer of $8 plus shipping and that came from a garage sale. These little cuties... Um, came out of a thrift store mystery box. And I believe if I remember correctly, they're just plastic, but they're made in Hong Kong and they are just adorable. So this right here and this bulldog, it's another hard plastic toy. So this is somebody that collects um, maybe dollhouse. They do dollhouse items. Who knows? I usually put dollhouse in the title for small figurines like this. And I think it helps me sell my items. The same person bought both of these. They bundled them for $26 plus shipping. These are a pair of vintage motorcycle riding gloves by Olympia. My husband got these at an estate sale, I believe. I want to say he probably paid $5 or less for them. And um, he doesn't believe in my white background. So this is his photo, <laughs> um, which he just um, he does a lot of watches and the wood background looks pretty cool. So we'll give them that. But I don't know. It's just a, I like the white background. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I use photo room, photo room to white out my backgrounds. What I do is I'll take like 50 pictures and I'll batch them. So it just goes super quick. They do them all in a row and I sh I'll have a video on it. I've showed it in the past, but if you guys are interested in photo room, uh, you can pay for a subscription for the year. I want to say it's like $59 or $69. It is totally worth it because it makes your pictures pop. And I do have a link down in the description and you can get, I think it's either, I think it's 10% off your, if you do the full year. So uh, my referral links are all down below. And most of the time when you join with one of my links, you get something off. So definitely check them out down in the description. Uh, he sold these gloves for $25 plus shipping. This here is an I-X-O-Y-E. I'm not sure what that stands for, but it's the Jesus Fish Christian Patch logo. And I got this at a garage sale for a quarter and I sold this for $15.50 plus shipping. It is a vintage patch. Um, I do sell patches from time to time. A lot of times these get pushed to the side because they're small. They don't take up a lot of space and I just let them sit. Um, but they will sell. So um, I try to focus on the bigger stuff, but then I just keep getting things added to my money pile. These right here, love it, love it, love it. Super fast selling item. These are the Leapfrog Fridge Farm Magnetic Animals. Complete replacement set. Um, pick these up at the bins. I was so excited when I saw them because I knew they were going to sell quick and for decent money. I sold these for $18.60 plus shipping. The next item are these reindeer. Uh, they're from uh, the Duracell. It was like an uh, advertising thing that they did. They had their original tags, but none of them worked. And though 
they're the kind that you can't replace the batteries. So if somebody wants to replace the batteries in these, they are going to have to unstitch them and then stitch them back up, I think. I'm not really sure how they work. But anyway, they still sold. Um, I got them at a garage sale for 50 cents each, so $1.50. I sold them for $15.50 plus shipping. So not my best buy ever, but hey, they sold, right? This guy sold super fast. I got him in the Goodwill bins and he is Ken Barbie's friend. And he's got these cool yellow shoes and he's complete with his outfit. And right here, I always take a picture of whatever this says. This was 2016. I sold him for a best offer of $12.00. Buyer was all in for $21.02 for him. And again, he sold fast. Here's another item from the Goodwill bins that weighs absolutely nothing. Uh, this is what it looks like on the bottom. It's the Cowardly Lion. And a lot of times I will put cake topper in the title. I did not do it this time. I used the keywords that were on the bottom. I sold this for $9.30 plus shipping. And that's from the Wizard of Oz there. This is a Bucilla cross stitch lap quilt wall hanging and it's the rose princess rose pattern this came from that same estate sale where i got all of the crafters items and i sold this for 11 dollars best offer plus shipping this next item is a hallmark wonder woman lasso christmas ornament this came out of up oh, nope i'm sorry i was thinking it was a mystery box but nope i got it at a garage sale for one dollar and i sold this for 11 dollars plus shipping the next item is this Pick Me Pop Surprise Pajama Llamas. And this one right here, I got at a garage sale for 50 cents. Sold it for a best offer of nine plus shipping. Now, most of the time, the surprise animals, that means that it's like an unboxing or a, a blind bag or whatever you call those things where the kids open them and it's a surprise on what they end up getting. Most of the time, the items are harder to resell because the kids and the parents that are looking for those are looking for the new ones because they want that element of surprise. Um, I wasn't really sure if this would sell, but it ended up selling quicker than I expected. So there is still some value in these, but it's usually a bread and butter unless maybe you find one of the rares. The next item is this little tea cart. I got this at an estate sale with a bunch of vintage wooden, um, I'm, I'm sorry, not wooden, a bunch of vintage uh, dollhouse items. And looking back, I took a ton of the smalls and I made a huge lot. And I probably should have parted them out because they were just little items like a garden hose or whatever. And I'm learning about dollhouse furniture and some of it can go for crazy money. And it's those little pieces that sometimes go for more than the actual furniture. So I probably messed up on that. I'm guessing a reseller bought it and probably turned that into some big money. I remember I sold it for a decent amount. I didn't just give it away, but uh, definitely be mindful of that just because it's small. Sometimes it can be mighty. This ended up selling for $10 plus shipping. All right, you guys. That was my bread and butter bolos for this video. Again, $31.25 into $454.75. Thank you guys so much for being here. Which item surprised you the most? Which item would you not waste your time? I mean, be honest with me. Let me know in the comments. Like, I would not waste my time with that. Courtney, I would not waste my time with blank. Put it down in the description. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you so much. Please subscribe if you're new. And if you've been here a while, thanks for coming back. And I will see you guys at the next one. Thanks for watching.